civilization long since gone, but the stories they left behind, their mythology, is forever ingrained in time. It may not be as widely retold as Greek or Roman mythology, but this Mesoamerican people's religion, which focused heavily on human sacrifice, was fascinating on its own, breeding these top 10 deities of Aztec mythology. Before we get started, help us out by hitting that like button and be sure to leave us a comment because we're always looking to engage in interesting conversations with you. Also, don't forget to click the bell so you get notified every time we put out a new video. Number 10. Tonatiu Aztecs worshipped Tonatiu as the sun god and the symbol of the fifth era, or that of man. Prior to Tonatiu, four ages, or suns, represented as earth, wind, fire, and water, were destroyed, leading to the current era of Olin Tonatiu, or the Sun of Movement. According to the Aztec calendar, Tonatiu rules over death and, as legend goes, is forced to go through a cycle of life every day, starting with his birth at sunrise, followed by a journey across the sky, and his death at nightfall. Number 9. Tlaloc Some may recognize the name Tlaloc from Bungie's Destiny, but it's more commonly attached to the Aztec deity of rain, water, agriculture, and lightning. Thought to be a giver of life through new rains and a bringer of drought and destructive storms, Tlaloc ruled over the Tlaloque, a grouping of rain, mountain, and weather gods. The meteorological god was also believed to manifest as the four cardinal directions, or Tlaloc's, represented by the colors black, white, blue, and red, or the elements of wind, earth, water, and fire. Number 8. Shipe Totec Son of Ome Teotel and brother to Teslacapoca, Huitzilopochtli, and Quetzalcoatl, Shipe Totec was revered as a god of spring. During the Snake Festival, or Telakshipehualistli, the Aztecs worship Shipe Totec, also known as the patron god of new harvest, by skinning sacrificial victims to symbolize the shedding of husks and release of seeds. Shipe Totec was often depicted as wearing a human skin to represent the new layers of vegetation that grow every spring. Number 7. Huitzilopochtli Known as the hummingbird of the south or blue hummingbird on the left, Huitzilopochtli was worshipped as the god of war and of the sun and considered an important aspect of the Aztec pantheon. In one version of his creation myth, Huitzilopochtli was born during the murder of his mother, Kualikui, at the hands of his 400 siblings, the Sensonhuitnahuic and Sensonmemescoa. Rising from his mother's corpse, the newly born Huitzilopochtli avenged her death, specifically killing his sister, Coyochalki. The sibling rivalry is believed to be responsible for the day-night cycle, depicted as a daily struggle over control of the sky. Number 6. Huehue Teoto Referred to as the Old God, Huehue Teoto was often associated with Xiotecutli, or the Lord of Turquoise. In some lore, the two were different parts of one deity, ruling over fire. Huehue Teoto was believed to regenerate, purify, and transform the world through fire, representing the changing of seasons and natural regeneration of Earth. In the creation myth, Huehue Teoto was a founder of the world and creator of the sun. At the end of each cycle, or every 52 years, the ceremony of the new fire was held in the deity's honor, celebrating the regeneration of the cosmos and starting of a new cycle. Number 5. Miklan Tetutli In the creation myth, Miklan Tetutli, ruler of Miklan, or the lowest level of the underworld and northern realm of the dead, attempted to stop Quetzalcoatl from using bones of the previous world to spawn mankind. Mictlan Teutli is husband to Mictecatzihuatl, an overseer of Itzquintli, the guide of the dead, and shares association with bats, spiders, and owls. Aztecs honored their lord of the land of the dead through rituals at the temple of Tlalxico, where an impersonator of the god of death would be sacrificed. Number 4. Tlautetcutli As the Aztec earth god or goddess, Tlaquecutli was believed to literally comprise the ground that we stand on. In the Aztec creation myth, the aquatic Tlaquecutli was sought after to create a place for man to thrive on between the sky and waters. After a battle with Quetzalcoatl and Tezcatlipoca, Tlaquecutli was rendered no longer able to sink below the surface and, with various parts of his or her body, 
flora, mountains, and caverns were formed throughout the world. As the myth goes, the cries of Talatekutli's suffering can still be heard, quelled only by blood sacrifice. Number 3. Omoteoto Though technically two deities, the pairing of Omosiwatl and Omotekutli served as a singular purpose, representing the duality or two parts of the cosmos. Residing in Omeokan, or Double Heaven, the sibling spouses, or Lady and Lord of Duality and Lord of Life and Goddess of Creation, are said to be responsible for creating the stars and earth from monsters that once inhabited the heavens and birthing the first Aztec deities, Xipe Totec, Tezcatlipoca, Quetzalcoatl, and Huitzilopochtli. The Aztecs recognized their presence in the heavens, but the importance of Omesiwatl and Ometecutli was often overlooked in favor of lesser gods. Number 2. Coatlecue Referred to as Serpent Skirt and depicted as an old woman wearing a skirt of snakes, Coatlecua was viewed as the Earth Mother Goddess, worshipped as the patron of childbirth, and often thought to be Omesiwatl. The feared goddess was said to have given birth to the moon and stars and was a symbol of Mother Earth's ability to be both loving and deadly. Besides the lore revolving around the birth of Huitzolopochtli, Coatlacue, also known as the governess of agriculture and warfare, was believed to prophesy to Aztec ruler Motecuzoma II the fall of Aztec cities. Number 1. Quetzalcoatl The Plumed Serpent God of the winds and the rain, creator of all mankind. To the Aztec pantheon, Quetzalcoatl was one of the most important deities to exist. The ninth lord of the day was responsible for the creation of man by using bones of elder beings, which he stole from the underworld despite intervention from Mictlan Teutli and his wife Mictlan Siwatl. Having received the duo, the plumed serpent was thrown into a pit where the bones he carried were shattered. With those he recovered, Quetzalcoatl and Siwakoatl mixed them with the deity's blood and corn to bring man into the world. It said the broken bones are responsible for the varying sizes.